<laughs> most of their damage, then it's really good because, for example, Kha'Zix vs. Tartanekton, Kha'Zix kind of has to build damage to be effective. I mean, I'm sure some sort of tank Kha'Zix could actually work, but it's not nearly as, like, it's not nearly as, it's not doesn't really take advantage of his kit as well as getting some armor pen, some AD, and actually taking advantage of his high ratios. But, for example, Renekton, if you rush, like, a Sunfire Cave vs. Kha'Zix, there's a really good chance you're, he's not going to be killing you, and you still do a lot of damage to him, just because of how well that item synergizes with his kit. Sunfire on Renekton, honestly, if he doesn't rush that, I'll be very surprised because we have Zed mid, various spot, Kha'Zix top, all AD team for the most part, except for Diana. Alright, item start. Um, what's their agenda? Thank you. 
Creeper needs to dash. Because he's pretty vulnerable for her ass. EQ, finish him off. I'm gonna back here though. Mua could come. Honestly, if, even if a Mua came, I'd probably just run into the creeps and try to scrap him. He'd be isolated and the creeps would be hitting him. If he was full health, he'd probably just kill me instantly because there's so many creeps. But Kha'Zix level 1 damage with Kaysar Fear is pretty ridiculous. Uh, let's see. I'll just rush the early realizer. I have armor pen reds, so the early root really helps my damage potential. And I'm maxing Q. So armor pen is the best stat for me here. Hey, Mac Cop. This ward is going to fade in about a minute. I have no wards for mid, s mid side, so placing my ward in try is pretty risky because Moon could easily come through here. But Moon is bar right now, so I don't think I have to worry about that. And he's only level 4. That's so good for me. I'm like, I'm about to hit level 6. Or next to level 5. He's actually going to walk through lane. Uh, he wasn't isolated for that Q. I used my dash on it. I'm going to evolve my Q first. Enlarged Claws, it adds range to it, and it increases the damage. Um. Yeah. When they reworked Kha'Zix, they made it so that you, s you deal bonus damage on isolation. On, I mean, you deal bonus damage with Q even if they're not isolated, but it's just increased when they are, so it's really, really good. Iron Ekans is here right now. He's level 4, and I'm level 6. I just did double me, what the hell? So much damage. So I'm gonna use my E to get to him. And I'm gonna go reward lane. I have all 10 ignite up right now, and he still doesn't have his all. I got usually all in him when he comes here to CS. And if he doesn't come here to CS, then he'll never hit level 6. Unless he just jungled. So I'm pretty sure I have a, I have a, a kill in the bank right now. Seven CS, he has 17. 30 CS up, 7 minutes. It's really, really good. Try to keep the lane frozen here. I'm not gonna push that excessively. It's about sending a message. something to keep in mind when you're denying someone look at every creep they miss and then imagine if you were in their position just watching all these creeps die and it kind of just like reinforces what you're doing is so good and just don't amount of exp range that's all I care about I have not flash so I can't chase way too hard and his double E range will always out outrun me unless I just like get right on top of him Still has 19 CS, and he's just doing double golems, probably to hit 6. Even if he had 6, I feel like I'm just so far ahead right now that I can still just kill him. And the wave's just like perfectly frozen near my turret. He can't even walk any experience. Wait, is he being sneaky? No, he's not. saying the balance. Where is he? I have 70 CS, he has 19. And he's just jungling. <laughs> Pretty awkward if he DC'd, but I don't. No, I just feel like yeah, he's, he was struggling. I got level six now. 
He got 60 yes, since he was out of lane. Got like two different camps. I'm gonna push up top right now. They're pushing down mid. Got to unfreeze eventually. But I already got a huge advantage from doing so. Trying to come in behind for a while. Just gonna hit turret. Yep. I will. I'm somehow level 11, so I can't really just like run into a fight and clean up with the reset. Looks like this dragon will be theirs. on so much gold, but I'd rather I'd rather just stay top and keep keep him just zoned off. I have a choice. If he walked through here, he would have already went that way, so he's going this way. He's going the safe way, or he went to buy one of those two. So he's pushing back towards me now, so I can keep freezing. second. Once you get reset on leap, you don't really need points into it. You just have to make sure every time you use it, you use it effectively. And W actually really does give you pretty good sustain. And the, the damage is still nice. It's just not massive AoE spikes of doom anymore. Oh my god, that Tori is so low. Damn, he literally just gave up laning. I mean, at the point that it was that he could not walk in the lane, otherwise he would just he would literally just die. But I figured after getting his ult, he might he might have tried to come back and and not falls behind. Uh, he's four levels down right now. He has chain vest now. Yeah, with chain vest, I think he could survive. I'm trying to rush down level eleven. I'm saying 3,000 gold. I think I'm just gonna go back to buy. Actually, that might have baited him to walk into lane. Let's see if I just stay here. What will happen? Nah, I'm gonna buy. I decided to rush Last Whisper just because it'll give me the damage to pretty much blow anyone up, even if they're not, they don't have that much armor. I think the move is going to get Chain Vest next too, and my lane opponent already got, uh, already got Chain Vest. He's working on Sunfire. So I think, I think in just terms of pure damage potential, this is going to be the best.
a pretty crazy chase. Did not have a ward down for the Muma. I was not ready for it. Let's not push up and back here. And a Mumu. Those are probably the only two champions that I'm going to be concerned with this game. So just throw in some tenacity, and it'll be much harder for them to chase me down like they did. Oh my god, he missed. Can he still get the kill though? I don't think so. up and basically prevents Renekin from ever getting a farm in this game. But they're trying to get up so much that the creeps are going to kill it eventually. Unless I extend the proxy by dragging the creeps out and letting them tank the other creeps. It's already kind of messed up though. I should have just ran immediately. I had my E up. I didn't have to cue their next in there. Let him get the stun up on me. His stun animation would have gone off and my jump would have cast if I just immediately jumped. That was just my bad. Uh, let's see. Yep, Mumu and Renekton are both rushing Sunfire. Or at least I think he is. He got an Emblem of Valor for some more armor, but that means my build's even better versus that. Get a ruby crystal, head back top. I'm gonna work on black team right next, I suppose. Just maximum armor shred. AD's also really good on Kha'Zix. His spells also go really well with it. Something like a BT or a Ravenous Hydra would be perfect. But I've already, already had the Brute, and I just feel like upgrading it. I tricked them on this play. I ultied and ran towards the wall as if I was going to jump over it, and I just E popped the Ori, got the reset, and I got out. I'm doing Wraith, see if I can get her. Their blue, their head's up too right now. I want to try to take that. So die really fast. He was like face checking me. I aimed it like towards the side of his brush, and he was at the, he was at the tip already, so I just couldn't hit him. 
That was pretty unfortunate. I thought I was gonna get the kill on a moon back up. Oh my god. Not bad, not bad. Alright, I have an uncle for Black Saber. I'm just gonna upgrade it here. And we clean up the Xana. Okay, I like it. I'm gonna throw a health pot into the mix. I should have kept scrapping with the Muma. After I got red, I could have just stayed on him. Probably popped him before the ore even came in. I managed to dodge her ult by using Void Assault, getting the Moonseed boost, and running away from it. But there was still it was there was still like three people on me, so I couldn't quite evade the cops for as long as I would have liked. Kill the little one so the big golem can be isolated. Crazy amount of damage to it on each Q. Oh, they're fighting it out. I'm gonna leap my way to them. Ori has Archangels, but it hasn't been upgraded to Seraphs yet. This is probably Ori's now that I think about it. She's moving bot. Right, I'm just gonna move top of me. Kill her next one, he does double golems. I don't think I have the damage to kill him. I'm really fed, but he can just like sort of walk towards his turret. Probably get away. Yeah. Oh my god, I didn't even cast. As expected. I'm gonna keep pushing this up. He's isolated. I just wanted to get the reset on my own terms. And it's pushing mid really hard. Let's see if they go for it. Ah, oh, my key didn't cast. There. We good. We good. Switch is all at the fade. Oh my. I don't really want to dive into Oriana. probably recalling. I'm gonna just jump out of base. As soon as she got isolated, I was like, I could probably pop her in one shot. Before, I didn't want to go because there was still creeps around here. So my Q would have been dealing 45% less damage, but happy to do it afterwards. Recall my way out of the base. And let's see. Try to pick up Demont. I actually really like Demont or Ravenous Hydra on. Oh, well, Demont and Ravenous Hydra on Kha'Zix because when you're in creep waves, you can just like instantly clear them and get your targets isolated so you can get that extra chase there for your damage in.
that. They could probably end it here if they want. I just want to get my, my, my completed build in. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to end. Raven's Hydra, 10 second cooldown. You do a little AoE splash that deals a percent of your max AD um, to and all the units around you. And it also adds a uh, splash to your auto attacks. So, really, really nice. On most melee AD champions that scale well off of AD, like Lee Sin, even Renekton, um, Kha'Zix is no exception. Oh, uh, didn't you get the. Did I move me full heal? I wonder if I could jump in, kill him. Oh, never mind. He has. I want to jump into base, pop him, and jump out. Come to me. Ah. Don't hurt me. Kill him, ignite! No! It's not enough damage. Oh my god, he killed me. End it! Good game. Hooray! Another win under the belt. That's a